In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how RAM frame can calculate story forces for levels that contain multiple diaphragms. As you can see from the 3D view of this particular model, at the upper roof level, we have modeled two separate slab edges and provided two separate slab assignments for each area. Let's now go ahead and proceed to RAM frame. Now the first area I'm gonna go is to review my diaphragm masses. As you can see, RAM frame will calculate the diaphragm mass for each diaphragm defined in the RAM modeler separately. So here I have diaphragm one and diaphragm two. Let's also go ahead and take a look at the diaphragm exposure. Again, what you will see is that RAM frame will calculate the diaphragm exposure for each diaphragm defined in the RAM modeler. Now each diaphragm is going to be identified by its diaphragm number, and you may want to view that information as you're assigning different diaphragms of different types. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the View menu bar option, and then we're going to select Members. And then within this area, we're going to go to our slabs index area. And we can tell the program we want to show our diaphragm numbers. Finish this off by clicking OK. Now you can see the first level has only one diaphragm, so it's been assigned diaphragm number one for the typical or lower level. The upper or roof level has two different diaphragms. So we have diaphragm one is the one on the left-hand side, and diaphragm two is on the right-hand side. Now, if we went up to the criteria menu and went to the diaphragm area, we could see that we could specify our different diaphragms at the roof level separately. So say, for example, I want a semi-rigid diaphragm for diaphragm number two and a rigid diaphragm for diaphragm number one. Now that we have defined our diaphragm types, we're ready to perform our analysis. Now, this model already contains some lateral loads that we've previously generated in RAM frame. So after the analysis is completed, we'll go ahead and click on the close button. And we're ready to review some of the results. The first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the building story shears. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the load in the Y direction. And we can see that the loads at the upper level, even though the diaphragms are pretty identical, since they were defined as differently, we can see. Now what you'll notice is that the two diaphragms at the roof level have distributed the wind load to the vertical lateral load resisting system, considering the diaphragm criteria that was assigned to each one. Now this concludes our process for taking a look at a model with multiple diaphragms defined on one level. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.